So Guinea and Guinea-Bissau, two countries next door to each other with a very similar name, but a very different cultural background, not just the indigenous tribes, but the colonization. Guinea-Bissau colonized by the Portuguese, Guinea colonized by the French. Now the French love to talk about their humanitarian foreign policy, which always makes me want to vomit. In the case of the French between the fourth and the fifth Republic, when the French had a lot of trouble with a number of their colonies in Africa, they offered the people in Guinea, Conakry, a referendum to say whether they'd stay part of France or not, and the Guineans voted to leave. So the French, petulant as they've always been, left taking everything of value, including unscrewing all the light bulbs. No wonder they don't like the French here. Now, Guinea-Bissau, on the other hand, was colonized by the Portuguese and not by the French. But the Portuguese only had loose control here until the early 1900s, but then ended up losing it as a colony in 1973, I think it was declared, 1974 recognized. Since then, it has had one, just one, democratic transfer of power and one, just one, president uh, serving his full term country with a lot of poverty, very similar to Guinea next door geographically, of course, because it's small. It's got about 2 million people and, to be honest, not worth much of a visit. So the French next door in Guinea, Conakry, were absolutely horrible, taking everything, like I said, down to the light globes when they left. Portuguese weren't so much better here. Is there any wonder, and here's a thing, coming through a lot of these visits in Africa, is it any wonder that there is not this reservoir of goodwill for Europeans that exists in Africa and why they are very open to trade with other countries like, I don't know, China, 